Hey gamers, welcome back. Rick here with Game Trade Media, coming to you live from PAX Unplugged in the vendor hall, the dealer room, the big house. We're having a good time here. We've got BJ Hensley with us today. BJ, Hi. you guys might know her from all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, Savage Worlds. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the history of your involvement in this industry, BJ. Oh, uh, well I've been around for a while. I, uh, I do game design, I've done art, mm -hmm. I've done writing and editing, and I've obviously I founded my own company. Right. Um, we have Playground Adventures is our family friendly company. It, we produce games for, for children, we produce games that help uh, teach social skills to those who might otherwise not have them, and sure. also that are just more geared for the the busy children, like if you have ADHD. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a 12 and up line. We have right. really popular right now is creature components. We just did one for Toma Beasts. Nice. Uh, so you can get all the, the creatures out of the Toma Beasts, and you can hack them up, and you can create new things out of them, yes. which people love. <laughs> um, and we had uh, Dan Dillon actually worked on that, too, uh, which we love Dan Dillon. He's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, and then let's see, oh, I'm the vice president of Lone Wolf Development, okay. the, the makers of Hero Lab. We just uh, recently did Hero Lab Online. Okay. So you can now use Hero Lab on your, your cell phone, your tablets, whatever okay. computer. As long as you've got a browser, you can use it. Nice. So you can take your character with you everywhere you go, which is nice. Do yeah. that. Do that, <laughs> it's amazing. So what are some projects that you're, I mean, we talked about uh, Playground Adventures. Mm -hmm. What are some other projects that you're working on right now that people can see your work? Uh, the most recent thing I'm doing is a mini setting for uh, the Savage Worlds Kickstarter, which is convenient because I think you guys just spoke to we them. We did. We just yeah. spoke to Savage Worlds. Yeah. They are wonderful, amazing yeah. people, mm -hmm. and I cannot stress enough, go buy their products. Yes. It's worth it. Um, and so I'm working on that. I'm really excited about it. I'm doing sort of a, um, <laughs> it's a magical space station. Okay. So imagine a world where they have magic and they have technology, or what we would perceive as technology, but it's all magic based. There's not actually any technology going okay. on. Um, and this world becomes so immersed in magic, though, that they're just they're draining their planet dry. Okay. And they have their the mage wars, which is typical to a lot of places. Mm -hmm. And the planet itself is becoming a barren wasteland. Oh. Well, the people who care about the planet, the druidic people of the place, right. have decided this is not okay. And so many many years ago, they actually magically took themselves away, okay. and they're positioned in space. And that's my setting is about those people positioned in space. Okay. And so you can play on, on, on in in the space station, or you can play in the on, on the barren world. Okay. Um, and on the world, they've become basically savages who are much more behind. But in in the space station, they have their magic uh, technology, as okay. you would say. And it's it's a lot. We'll find different words for that because I literally just have a draft right sure. now. But that's the basic idea. And then I just just finished. In fact, I think it's out. I think people were playing it here. Uh, into the Dark for okay. Adventures League. What levels was that Was that for? Do you remember? I don't. Okay. I think That's okay. Five to, I'm not sure. Just the fact that it's a D&D related product yeah, is well, super cool. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's an Adventures League thing, so it's it's Into the Dark. Um, it's like an intro for something, too. Okay. So that people seem to really like it so far. Okay. I mean, um, so there's that. We don't want to spoil it too much. Well, obviously. and that's I'm like I didn't want to say because yeah. I really don't know. Um, I, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, so sure. I'll just not say anything. So it's an adventure league product, and yeah. you can play it. Yes, yeah, I like yeah. it. That's it's wonderful. <laughs> Go play the thing. It's tier two. Okay. Oh, it's tier two. Okay, thank you. Johnny's always on the spot. Knows all the things. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, Tiny Dungeon is another thing I worked okay. on fairly recently. I did their new logo and, and a small setting in there. Nice. Uh, it's another really good family-friendly mm. type setting. Right. I think really the main thing I'm working on right now is we're getting ready to launch our own rule set. Okay. Um, so it's, it's called Uni, the Uni. Ultimate Nexus of Imagination. Okay. And it wow. is a family-friendly rule set that is simplified enough you can play it with a four-year-old. Nice. But it is modular, so as they age, so do does the so too does the system. And it's modular; you can make it more complicated as you go, all the way up to adulter enjoy adults are enjoying playing this game too. Okay. Like they, they really like it. Right. Um, and that's been something I've wanted to create for many many years because okay. I find that depending on the age of a person, depends on what they truly need out of a game. As you sure. get older, you're like, I want more crunch, I want more complexity, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm bored with the simple rules. Right. And there's just not anything out there 
that did exactly what I wanted to do. There's sure. a lot of wonderful systems out there and I yeah. absolutely support them, but this one specifically, I needed to be able to use in a psychology office, in a right. doctor's office, in an educational facility, and I needed right. so many things from it that I was like, you know what? We're just gonna build our own. Okay. So I've been really busy with that lately. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, there's some fun things. It sounds like you got your hands in a lot of pies. I do. My hands are always in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I take on little projects mm -hmm. here and there for, mm -hmm. for variety. Sometimes I'll do some editing for Cobalt Press okay. or, you know, whatever yeah, that's, little that's things Wolfgang, I pick right? up. Yeah, Wolfgang yeah. Bauer. Yeah. Um, we highly recommend things from him. I yeah, love the Creature I love Codex Cobalt that Chris. just came out was really cool. Creature Codex just came out, and we uh, we haven't done it yet, but like we did the Toma Beast, we'll have a Creature Components book for that as okay. well. We just cool. uh, Dan and I are busy a lot. Right. <laughs> so if there was, I, I know we said that you you have your hands in a lot of pies. What, the, however, if you could put your hand in any pie that you, like, you're a super fan of, but you haven't really delved into it yet, is there anything out there that you are like, oh, I'd really like to do something in that world or that IP? You know, I pretty much get what I ask for, so... That's why I'm asking, because maybe someone will hear this and see it and uh, be like, yes, let's bring her on. Wow. Um, I, I know kind of everybody, so I, I get really... I'm very, very blessed that if I see something I want to... You know what? Actually, there is a thing I want to do, and it's not something I can publish for, for my company. Mm -hmm. I really want to write this book that is all feminine magic items and spells. Okay. So like I, I created this this thing called a mimic handbag and, right. and oh and, and actually I had help on that. My friend Stephen Rowe and I created it. Right. Um, but this mimic handbag is just phenomenal to me. It's it's very possessive of its owner. Mm -hmm. So it, it's always with you, it protects you and all of that, but it hates other handbags. <laughs> it you cannot carry another bag. <laughs> it will eat it alive, literally. I love that. Uh, and sometimes it'll try to reach out and snatch other people's handbags if they get too close and eat them. So it's it's really the thing is such a pain. But mm. you know we're very loyal to our handbag. Of course. Um, you know <laughs> I I also wrote uh, you know pink stiletto for ninja assassins, which I think is amazing. Um, you know you could have mm. magical lipsticks and whatnot. I so love just it. I I want to do a book of feminine magic items. It's the silliest thing, but it's been in my mind for. <sighs> two years do you do you remember volo's guide like it was like a shopping catalog like an old sears catalog but yes, it was volo's, guide, volo's of guide, stuff. guide of stuff yeah, yeah something like exactly like, like that. that yes yeah, that, that would, would be, be amazing yeah yeah no that yeah. would be really cool i agree Maybe we could get watsy to <laughs> i'm sure th come on i'm sure they would probably like why like, not maybe why not why yeah not? no that's actually really neat <laughs> that would be great is like a little pamphlet could come together on that Oh, that would be great if Satine helped me with that because she loves that stuff too. We can finally make the chainmail bikini that she really wants. You know, one that actually does everything. We got like little bags of holding pockets in it, yes. like an accessories. That of would be course. amazing. Be great. <laughs> now, speaking of Satine and females in this industry, and the fact you've been a part of it for a while, mm -hmm. obviously, what are some of the things that you would say to our female viewers that may have an interest but are kind of like scared to tread the waters of coming into this industry? I think. I think the thing that I would say is you should never be afraid because in gaming, like if you're playing D&D &D mm -hmm. or you're playing Pathfinder or whatever your rule set is, you can't do it wrong. Right. There's there's no way, there's no way to do it wrong. You be whoever you want to be. If you right. want to be that that fashion designer by day, ninja assassin by night who carries a mimic handbag and wears those pink stilettos, do it. Yes. Don't let people tell you that you have to be a, a warrior. Mm -hmm. Don't let people tell you that you have to be, God's sake, a healer. I never play a healer. <laughs> I, healers are great. If you want to play a healer, play them. Mm -hmm. But don't make people, don't let people make you do that. Don't be right. forced into any role you don't want to play because mm -hmm. you can be whatever you want to be. And that is the beauty of these games. Absolutely. That's, I agree. that's my advice. Okay. Now, as far as um, future sightings, where might people be able to see you coming up in the 2019 uh, arena? 2019 on my docket so far, I believe I'll be at GaryCon. It's a little okay. iffy, um, okay. but I should be. I'm always at Gen Con every year. I get no choice. I am I am captive to that convention. All right. Um, we do PaizoCon every year. I will okay. probably be here at PAX U again next okay. year. Uh, occasionally I'll pick up other things. Like this year I did UConn. I was a guest of honor there. Okay. And I have to say, if you've not been to UConn, go. Okay. It, it was the best convention I've ever been to. Really? It, they were, it was safe. It yeah. was diverse. It, people were kind. Okay. There was just, it was just an amazing, relaxing place. You could go and play all the games and board games you wanted. I, for any first time people, right. if you've never been to a con, that's the one to that's test the, the waters with. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're f phenomenal. All right. I'm hoping to go to Gary Con next year because I've, 
it, you know, that's where all the old guard that is, is where all the old guard is. And I want to go there. There's there's some that I want to sit down and play. Oh games yeah, with. there's some great people at yeah. GaryCon. I, mm. I I love the people there. I love Luke and Heidi. Um, you know, Stefan goes every year. You yeah. get the Dwarven Forge yeah. crew. It's good people. The Dwarvenots. The Dwarvenots. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. it's awesome. So if anybody wants to follow about you know um, the Playground Adventures and any of those other products, where where can they go on social media or on the website and find all that um, stuff? So my my website for that is playgroundadventures.net, and then for Hero Lab it's wolflair.com. And I have a really easy way to find me because on Facebook I'm BJ Hensley one, mm -hmm. on Twitter I'm BJ Hensley two, and on Instagram I'm BJ Hensley three because that's the only way I can remember it. That sounds perfect. <laughs> All right, works. so everybody out there watching, make sure you go to all those those sites and follow BJ and all the cool things that you're involved in, which is a lot. I promise to tweet better. <laughs> that's that's going to be my New Year's resolution. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and so for next year, if you're at the cons and uh, everything, hopefully they can come to your panels and all the yes. other things that you're a part I always of. Do. I usually do a women's empowerment panel. Mm -hmm. I often do a panel on uh, gaming with children mm -hmm. or gaming with people with autism mm -hmm. or ADHD. I love that. And we always, at Gen Con especially, we always have a booth. It's a combination booth. So you'll have Lone Wolf Development will be in it. And then we have Cobalt Press and Playground Adventures, Write Publishing. All right. of us are in it together That's too. Awesome. So it's like a great great one-stop shop for all your books. Yeah, for the, some of the best stuff. That, yes. I'll tell you what, I, I'm just going to pitch real quick. The, Co the Creature Codex by uh, Cobalt Press is sick. Yes, it is. It is. You should pick it up. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's heavy. <laughs> oh my God, right? It's yeah. such a heavy book. A I have the special edition yeah. of all, like I have the special edition of the Toma Beast too. Right. It's so beautiful. Monstrous. I love those. They're huge. Mm -hmm. Well, they came with those ponds too, mm -hmm. which are just, that stack of them is just as thick as the book. Right. I've run out of room on my shelves. I have no shelves left. There's always Ikea. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I need to get more. And then I need to buy yet another bigger house to put those shelves in. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> BJ, thank you so much for joining us here at GTM. Happy to be we here. We appreciate you. We are fans. And Aww. we wish you nothing but the best. Well, thank you for having me. We will see you me. next year. Yes, At absolutely. all the other things. At all the other things. Yes. yes. <laughs> Again, thank you, BJ. Thank you. And everybody out there, this is Game Trade Media. See you at the game store. <laughs>